You want a custom bathroom vanity for a fraction of the cost? In the next five minutes, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how I made this bathroom vanity myself. Let's dive in. And the first step we're gonna take in building our vanity is we're gonna cut the two sides of the cabinet box. Now that we have the two vanity sides cut, it's time to cut the vanity bottom. Next, we cut a cleat for the back side just under the sink top. Now we drill pocket holes to hold the pieces together. We also have to notch out for the toe kick. Now glue and screw the bathroom vanity box together. So now that we have the birch plywood cabinet cut and assembled, now it's time to cut the face frame. Next, we glue and screw the solid birch face frame together. Clamps really help hold the face in place. Now we're going to sand the face frame and then attach it to the cabinet. Then we cut the birch for the drawer fronts and door fronts as well as the quarter inch plywood for the flat panel on the drawers and door. Bonus tip, lay out your cabinet drawer fronts and door faces to help you visualize what they're going to look like after they get installed. Then we cut the grooves to receive the flat panels. Drill pocket holes and assemble your drawer fronts and door. I added cleats to build out the drawer slides. I also had to build a frame to mount the drawer slides. Then we mount part of the drawer slides. So the next step is to cut the side of the wooden box. Then you want to remove the drawer slide that attaches to the wooden drawer and attach to the side of the box. Then we're going to put it back in the drawer slide. And when we measure from that side to that side, that's going to be the cut for the drawer box front. This drawer box front is going to be exactly 25 and a quarter. Now before we assemble the drawer boxes, we need to cut the drawer bottom. And we're going to use the same quarter inch birch plywood that we used in the drawer front. Now for the drawer bottom, we're going to measure the, the front of the box and add the depth of the groove for the side we measure the whole side and subtract the groove. Now we begin to build the vanity top drawer that is actually built around the drain line of the vessel sink. So you can see we're nearing completion on the vanity and it's getting about time to start looking at finishes. I'm using weathered gray varathane wood stain. So the manufacturer says with more coats of the stain, the darker it gets. Now we're going to stain our cabinets, starting with the back of the drawer face. Now let's wipe it off. Now we install the finished vanity and drill the concealed hinges. For a complete video on the Craig concealed hinge jig, click the link in the description. Then mount the hinges and hang the door. We drill for the hardware and this cabinet is ready for plumbing. To see the vessel sink installation, click the image on your screen now.